terms of like, you know, what the, you know, what the kind of the walloping conclusion is in terms of the, re, you know, the reveal, did you see that coming? How it is like, you know, when did that, when did that come to you? Well, I, I guess I experienced, the, the film is chron totally chronological, and what happened is that I arrived to film the program closing uh, in the middle of September uh, last year, 2013, and that very weekend when I arrived, Jay said, I'm going to lose my job, and he said, let's take a drive. We drove to Montana so we could get his hair cut, and he told me why, and um, and then and then that all happened within the first part of his confession to his wife and then the confession to his church and the confession in the film is taken from his confession to his congregation that all happened within two weeks so it happened very quickly and um but i'll say my experience of that was probably your experience which is both utter stunned shock and and yet in retrospect a kind of sense of of, of course you know it, it makes so much sense in a way i mean i, I guess i wish i could have and you could have been more prepared for it but and we did have the benefit of being able to kind of go back and not re-edit the film, but look at the film that we'd cut up until that point, what we'd been cutting as we were shooting, and to say, okay, now I know where Jay's journey ends, and, and you know, I know more about him as a human being and his compassion for these people with burdens and with stigma. The film doesn't change fundamentally, and this is actually, to me, fundamentally what the film is about, but it, 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 I have to... We have to think about the audience's experience of this story and what, how, how can we prepare them for this quite sharp turn? Well, I mean, it's like even, um, I don't know, in your editing process, there's a, there's a scene to me that was like a, you know, kind of like revealing, a, you know, showing a gun in the first act and waiting for it to be fired in the third, which is where he, sa he says to um, one of the men, you and I have more in common than you know, and you know I'm that I'm broken, I'm, and I'm thinking there's a truth there, and I do, and I kept wait, and I kept looking for some sign of what it was, and so in a, you know, and so, so the, actually, almost all of those moments were in the film, but I think when we went back and looked at the film, for us, it was very subtle calibrations about making those moments land more and giving them time, space. Um, a beat more. That's all it was. It was very, and and then I think the most radical structural decision was to to foreshadow the ending with the beginning of the film and his address to camera, which was another great argument in the edit room, which I won because I'm the director. <laughs>